Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So what you see before you right here is something that I did and it's pretty much just an explosion in a city. Today we're not going to be focusing on the actual explosion itself but instead we're going to be focusing on the rotoscoping that I used. You can see the rotoscoping that I used when the cyclist comes in front of the explosion. If you want to know how to do the explosion effect in of itself, then just say so in the comments below or like this video. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the rotoscoping. So what is rotoscoping? You can think of rotoscoping as pretty much manual green screen. So in green screen, you put an actor in front of a green screen and then you cut out the background from them. In this way, you have just your actor and their edges are transparent. In the example that you can see here, we've rotoscoped the cyclist so that the explosion which was added in post stays behind the cyclist. So let's see how we can do this inside of HitFilm 4 Express. So in this composite you can see right here, we've got the explosion but you can see that the biker actually goes behind the explosion which is of course not what we want to happen. So we're going to have to rotoscope him out so that he stays in front of the explosion. So because I want to duplicate this guy, and I want to put him above the explosion, I'm just going to duplicate the background layer before we start masking him out. So just press Command D or Control D on a PC, and you should have the duplicate of your background layer. Move it up above your explosion effect, and you'll see that that disappears. I'm also going to hide my color grade and my shake effect, so that we just have the background layer visible. You might be wondering what these small glows and big glows are, but we'll get to that later. So now we're going to begin rotoscoping. Quickly, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide this layer, and I'm just going to go to the point in time where this biker starts to go into the way of the explosion. So that's around here. And I'm, from here I want to start rotoscoping him so that until he gets to the end of the explosion, he stays in front of it. So I'm just going to uh, make this layer visible again, and I'm just going to go into my layer. This way we can just see the current layer that we're working on. So by default you'll be on this normal selection tool. Just go down to one of these mask tools to start masking. If you have a square object like a building or something that you want to rotoscope, then use something like the rectangular mask. For general purpose, like I'm going to be using, you can use the freehand mask tool. I'm just going to select it, and starting this frame, I'm just going to create a mask. So I'm just going to click to add some points, and create a rough outline of my figure. It doesn't have to be super accurate, it just has to follow the general shape. And once you're near the end, just hit the original point and you'll finish and close the loop on your mask. You'll see that everything else goes transparent in this layer viewer. What you're going to want to do now is to start and keyframe this. So open up your mask properties, and under the transform, go ahead and click your position and your path properties. A couple of frames in, just go ahead and change the position so that it matches up nicely as well. Now go ahead and adjust your path so that it matches back up again. Once you've adjusted your mask, you can repeat the process every couple of frames. Go ahead a few frames, adjust the position, and then go ahead and adjust the path once again. There's no easy way of doing this in the Express version, so you're just going to go ahead and for every frame, just manually reposition. Again, move forward a couple of frames, adjust the position, and adjust the path. Okay guys, so I've pretty much finished it. I haven't done it all the way until he goes out of frame, but I've done it just enough so that the rotoscope stays on while he's in front of the explosion. When we go back into our viewer, we can go and preview this. So technically it works pretty well, uh, and he looks like he's in front of it, which is pretty great. But there's still one or two things that we can do to make it look just a bit more realistic. So the first thing is to feather and smooth out the edges because you can see we've got quite some harsh edges right here. So it's best if we round it off a bit so that the edges are smoothed. Additionally, we want to feather the edges to actually blur out the edges a little bit because he is moving and he has got a bit of motion blur on him. Already it's starting to look much better. 
But now for the final step. You might not have this in your video in particular, but what I've done is because I have an explosion, I used to have an actual glow effect on the explosion itself. But instead what I decided to do was set up a grade layer. And on this grade layer, I've simply got not a brightness contrast effect, I've just got one glow. Now I've got a glow that's quite big and quite uh, not quite so intense, but it's got quite a big radius, and one that's more intense but has a much smaller radius. And that way when the guy moves over it, you can see it sort of leaks onto him. Now because I've got this massive white light up here as well in the sky, I've made a mask on each of these layers, and you can see that the mask is only around the area of the explosion. This way the only the explosion glows, but it still glows over the other guy. When I finally add my color grade, it looks great. And you can really see the glow on the edge of his face. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped you out, and I hope that you can use the rotoscoping to great effect in your next video. Again, if you want to know how to do the actual explosion effect, then just comment below or leave a like on the video so that I know whether I should create another video on the explosion effect itself. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Stay shiny. Bye.